still mad because I am all over the place when it comes to crafting. And this is episode three of the Crafty Nomad Podcast. Thank you so much for joining me. I just want to say thanks to everybody who stopped by and uh, watched my first two episodes and everybody who has encouraged me. Uh, I just want to say a couple of words about those who have um, encouraged me. And uh, I want to say thank you to Tiffany from the uh, Crochet Haven podcast. Uh, she's incredible. She's a brand new podcaster and she's been very supportive on Ravelry. And as well, Mama Grizzly Knits, a brand new podcaster as well. There are a few episodes ahead of me, uh, but they're great ladies. I uh, love their projects and just uh, really love their vibe. And um, I just am so grateful for them. And um, also, um, I wanted to say even thank you to Andrea from the Cat Lady Podcast, Craft All the Things. She is a woman after my own heart. She loves to do all kinds of crafting, and so I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy her. And uh, today she did uh, two periscopes, and she gave me a little bit of, she said hi to me, and she told me she watched my podcast, um, so at least the first episode, and I'm so grateful for that. Uh, she... She's incredible. So uh, the whole knitting, crochet, crafty community here on YouTube is really a positive one. And it's what made me want to join and what made me have the courage to even put out a video. So I just want to say thank you for to these ladies in particular uh, and also to everybody else who, who started doing this to show us that it could be done. And also for everybody who uh, stopped by and visited my video and watched my video. I'm so... Um, um, encouraged by that so I just want to say thank you thank you thank you also wanted to say welcome 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 to anybody who is coming by for the first time uh, hopefully there'll be some things on this video that you like and hopefully you'll check out some of the other people that uh, there's so many great podcasts out there uh, if this is not your cup of tea I'm sure um, you'll find it uh, and speaking of cup of tea, uh, most of the, uh, <laughs> speaking of cups of tea, most of uh, the knitting podcasters um, have like a tea or mug of tea, but you guys, I live in Southern California. It is way too hot right now to be drinking tea, but soon and very soon because I do like tea and um, I want to have something in my mug too. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get on with the show. So for today, I think uh, I'm looking at all of the things behind the camera <laughs> that I want to show you guys. And I think we will start out with a few uh, works in progress. Um, so I'm going to start out with my hair bows. I've been making hair bows to put into my, um, my Etsy shop. And um, so these are uh, works in progress because they don't have any hardware on the back. So this is the first one. It's very colorful. And this one, um, again, they are so not finished, uh, but no hardware on the back. These are so quick and easy to make uh, and fun to make. And this one, I, I don't even have the ends woven in, and I may have actually shown this one to you last time. Sorry for the crinkling, not really, because you know I told you before, I kind of like the crinkling. Uh, here's another one. And, you know, they fluff out a little bit. Kind of cute. Uh, and then I'll show you another one. Different colors. And then I did this for a different project, but I think I'm going to turn this one into a fascinator. Uh... I will talk a little bit about what I thought I was going to do with this, but I ended up doing something else. And hopefully, if I can figure it out, I'm going to um, show you a picture of what I ended up doing. But this I'm going to turn into a fascinator, I think, which I've never done before, but I'm going to give it a go. And then another one in the same colorway as the first one. Okay, so that, those are all works in progress because they don't have uh, any hardware on the back. So next up is my, uh, I'll show you my little owl, and this one actually had been hibernating, I made this like in practically one sitting, the body of it, 
And then I just kind of stopped and moved on to something else. So last night I picked it up again and started working on it. So this is the Owls Always Love You or Owl Always Love You. And the designer is Darlene Hopkins. Hope you can see it. And uh, I, this is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. So you see. And I don't even know. I, I think I wanted to just make an owl, so I searched, and there it was. It's a really cute one. I don't even have a project page for this one. But the body worked up so quickly, and then I just kind of put it down. I don't know why. But last night I whipped it out, and here it is. Okay, so her her little face, <laughs> I'm just sewing on the face. I made all the pieces to the face last night. I made the body of this thing. Sorry, this is me sewing. Let me, let me move some of this. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so um, I made the body like weeks ago, maybe even a month and a half ago. And I just sort of forgot about it. But I whipped it out last night because I want to get it finished because I really got the idea to make this for my coworker's daughter for her birthday. And I think her party is like tomorrow. Uh, we're not going, but I still wanted to give her a little owl. So, see, that's how it looks from the front. Here's the back. And basically, I just need to make the wings and then put in the little um, tufts of hair or feathers right there. And then this will be done. So I'm probably going to finish this over the weekend and take it to work. Uh, we have a long weekend. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, hopefully I can um, finish it up and then bring it to her next week and so she can give it to her daughter. So that's another work in progress. And I think that's all my crochet ones right now. Oh, the bear. Um, I didn't work on it at all. So I didn't bring it out. Uh, so it's still exactly the same place it was the last time I brought it out and sh showed you on the last podcast. And then, um, let me see, uh, the socks. I have not ripped those back to start over yet. So I did not bring those out. But I did bring out my flax because I did make a little bit of progress. Let me get it. Hold on. Okay. So, uh, my flax, I have... Actually, if you can see it, I uh, bound off, I bound off uh, the bottom edge. Ribbing is bound off. So see, ribbing bound off. And now I, uh, I have already put uh, my needles in for the to start on the sleeve. So. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, and I believe that currently he can still fit this, my little boy, but God knows, um, he's growing like a weed, so that's that, that's my only knitting one I'm going to show you for my whip, and then that's it, now I'm going to show you just a few finished objects, which they are very small, because again, it's the hair bows, they've gone quickly, now some of these hair bows, are already listed on Etsy. I think I showed you the red one already, so I won't show you that one, but I got this little harvest kind of color one, almost candy color, uh, candy corn color. And see, it has the hair clip. This is a French barrette, so it has it on there. And then um, I just did another uh, hair clip. With uh, three flowers, same colors. And then it has, um, I used the alligator clip on the back. Well, those are already listed in my Etsy shop along with the red bow. Some that will be listed soon are uh, a pink, the pink and blue one, I think. I showed you on the last uh, podcast, but now it has, this one also has a... Uh, the alligator clip on it because I think it might work a little better than the barrette I'm not sure but and then this cute little one with the little orange flower in the middle with the black uh, alligator clip on it and then finally this really cute um, one it's a little bit bedazzled so same kind of colors with the black alligator clip 
and it has a little bling in the middle. So, oh, and this one, it's a prototype. So, I, this is not going in my Etsy shop because it didn't really come out well. But I tried to cover a headband with um, ribbon, gross game, uh, grow game ribbon. And it just didn't, I don't like it. So, I think I'm going to try again and wrap it. But I think this will be a cute look once I figure out how to do this and make it look like something that somebody might want to wear. But, that's that. Um, okay. So that's it for my finished objects. So next, I think I'm going to talk a little bit about my stash enhancement. So, uh, so again, you know, I saw a little bit and, uh, everybody on the knitting podcast, of course, has all these project bags. Oh, and I forgot to show you the project bag that my owl was in. Uh, he's too, I don't keep her in here now, but this is where the yarn was I, in this one. Little polka dot bag with an orange polka dot interior and blue ribbon for the drawstring. See? Nice square bottom, so literally I can hold it. It holds its shape almost like a bucket. So I want to make some more of these. So, um, you know, unfortunately, my Joann's, the closest one to me is closing. And it's because they're putting a train in over in the area. So, uh, and also they built another one that's bigger and better. It's just not as convenient. This one is on my way home from work. So I can just pop in on my way home and get things. But now I'm probably only going to go to Joann's on the weekends now because the other one is, is really fairly out of the way. I could never go on a weekday with the traffic that we have here. And so, um, but I didn't even know it, but, uh, I found out. And so I went back and cause everything is on sale. I went ahead and got some fabric so I can make some more project bags. And I'm thinking of maybe putting them in my Etsy store. Um, but for now I'm definitely going to make some for me and hopefully maybe for some swaps down the line. So let me show you what I got. Sorry for leaning into the camera. Okay. So I got uh, this fabric I thought was really cute. Because it's, um, you know, sewing machines. Cute. Bright colors. And of course, got some cupcake fabric. Which I think is cute. And this one has a sewing theme as well, which I thought was really cute. The dress forms. And then um, I had bought, uh, oh, yeah, I had bought some uh, fabric that looked like bandanas. Um, and I bought it in red and I bought it in blue and I bought it a while ago and I wanted something for the interior. So I got this to put on the inside. The other ones I got, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on the inside yet, but anyway, figure that out. Then yeah, I thought these were cute little monsters. You see that? Little monsters. So that is my fabric. Now, the sort of the way I do it, um, I don't, I mean, I have bought fusible fleece when it's on sale, but I don't know where, honestly, I got this idea from, but, um, I actually put a little bit of felt on the inside of mine. And I just get uh, the spray adhesive that you use for sewing. And I bind it that way to my my um, lining fabric. And so I just get this. And I got a bunch of it because it was, you know, it's only $5.99 a yard anyway. And it it's uber wide. I can't even open it up to show you because uh, it wouldn't stand the camera. But it's really, really a wide fabric. And so, and it's, you know, and then it was on sale. And a lot of times it's always on sale anywhere. You can use a coupon. And it's just a nice way to uh, make your bag uh, stiff. All of my bags have that in it. I think maybe one or two might have a regular... Um, uh, interfacing and maybe one might have fusible fleece but most of them have that and it just makes them you know stand up 
and it's really cool when 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 it's sitting on the ground and your yarn is in there and it's just sitting there like almost like a bucket. So I really really um uh like the idea. I don't really know where I got it from. Maybe I was just walking around Joanne's and had a brainstorm or I saw it on a YouTube video. I have no idea. I can't remember, but that it actually works really really well in my um in my bags when I make them. So hopefully I can get into some swaps and I can share uh I've already actually sent one to the Netherlands and did a swap with somebody and then I have a pen pal who I sent one to out in Pennsylvania so that's that and then let's see so I want to make more of the hair accessories to uh, put in my Etsy sub so I <clears throat> let's see I found this place just by looking online called um, hair hardware and I got uh, some of the alligator clips from them the only thing I didn't like about this is when the package came, all the alligator clip packages were already open, so stuff was falling out. But I got two packs of these to back the bows. And what I do is I end up uh, covering these with Grow Game ribbon. My plan is to uh, coordinate it with the color of the yarn. And then so that I can make uh, little baby headbands, I got... Um, braided elastic in black and braided elastic in white and then uh, I got the headbands so I have some wire some metal ones that I got and then I got they're all stuck together I got these plastic ones so I can wrap them and they were fairly inexpensive so I got two different sizes sorry that's a different thickness. So that's one thickness. And then this is another thickness. It's number one. So that's all of my things for hair hardware, I think. And um we'll see if I have any other information to show you on the camera. Just hair hardware. Just Google it. If you can find it that way. And then I got a little bit of yarn. Because I found this pattern. And I think, honestly, I think I may have already owned it. But I don't know if you guys ever use ePattern Central. Um, and what it is is that you can um, download uh, patterns. And they cost anywhere from regular normal pattern prices. They had a sale um, last week where a lot of their accessory patterns were $1.49. So I got this one for a cowl. And I wanted to get a different kind of yarn than I have. And so I... Uh, I got some Cascade, because I think this one actually, the pattern called for one one skein of Cascade yarn. So I went to Webs, and I found this. This is the Cascade yarn specific in the color 76. I think it had a color name when I saw it on, uh, <laughs> when I got this on, um, webs that actually had a name but on here it just says color number 76 it is 40 percent super wa super wash merino wool and 60 percent acrylic and it's 213 yards in this ball so i got one so i can make the cowl and then i got an extra one so that maybe i'll make um christmas gift for somebody if i like the way it turns out for me so got two of those and this that came from webs and while I was there, I got some a set of needles. I got the Knitter's excuse me, Knitter's Pride Dreams in a size one on uh, 24 inch cord fixed circular needles. And then I got a set of size four Knitter's Pride marbles with a 40 inch cable. Look how pretty! Are oh, they pretty? Pink? So pretty. So, you know, I got those because I don't, you know, I just try different brands. And every time I get a different brand, I try to get a different size or and so that I can test it out. Right now, I just really love the Chow Goose a lot, but I'm trying other things. Um, and I believe, oh, and uh, only other thing I got from Joann's, sorry, is I got some of these. 
they were on sale, but I got them for my pocket letters because they fit really nicely into a pocket letter. Okay? So that is all of my stash enhancement, I believe. So I have one more finished object. And guys, I'm so new to this um, YouTube thing that I hope I can stick a photo somewhere around in here of this finished object that I want to share about. Um, one of my coworkers asked me to do a art piece for her. And I had done a small one and she requested a bigger one for her birthday. And she wanted it to be a Billie Holiday theme. So I did a mixed media um a mixed media canvas board for her and I really love how it came out and I hope that either I can show you right here or I can show you um, in a slideshow at the end I'm, I don't really know how to do all that but I'm hoping I can figure it out for you guys because I already gave it to her so I can't really show it to you right now but it, it turned out so lovely and um, if I can't do it please follow me on Instagram I am Pettis Kim uh, P-E-T-T-I-S-K-I-M on Instagram and I definitely posted pictures there where you can see this uh, this piece that I made and it was the first time that anybody um, like asked me to do something and paid me for it and um, I really enjoyed doing it I love how it came out and I hope 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 I can fit it in right here somewhere for you guys to see and um, I think that's for the most part it uh, what do I have coming up I wanted to show you one pattern that uh, I guess some people call needle adjacent. I'm sorry for leaning in. Uh, I totally want to make this. And I'm sorry, it's in black and white. Um, now, I have a great nephew who was with me over the weekend. And he is a fabulous little boy. Sweet, sweet baby. And uh, But he... He's four months now. This is probably not going to work for him by the time Christmas comes because he's already trying to crawl. Um, so, But I, I still want to make this because it's so cute. A little, um, a little um, Santa cocoon set uh, that I could put in my Etsy shop. Wouldn't a new Morin be so cute in this? So that was one of the things I really wanted. To, this is Needle Adjacent for me. I'm going to get this done. Um... And then I think that's it. Um, that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys today. I do have one question. So my husband did something for somebody. And she, somebody at work, wanted to thank him. So she gave him a thank you note. And um, this. Y'all see this? It's a Jimungus more pound more than a pound of dark chocolate from Trader Joe's okay it's made in Belgium it's, I'm sure it's good quality but I have no clue what to do with this <laughs> so any suggestions let me know uh, the thing is almost as big as my head and I got a big old head so anyway that's that and then finally 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 one last thing if I can pull it off I entered an Instagram giveaway and actually won, guys. Amazing, amazing. I heard about this company called uh, Gabby Bows. And, you know, if you, like me, growing up, you know, African-American little girl wore ponytails all the time with barrettes at the end. And uh, we lose the barrettes all the time, guys. The barrettes just fall out and you spend money on barrettes over and over and over again. Well, this little girl, her name is Gabby. She and her mother came up with these incredible uh, bows. They call them Gabby bows that you do not lose. And I learned about them on Periscope. And um, I watched them talk about their business. And actually, this little girl, uh, she won a young entrepreneur uh, award because she's basically the president of this company called Gabby Bows. And you can follow her on Instagram and you can check her out. But check these out. These are so cute. I won. I can't believe I won an uh, Instagram giveaway. But I wanted to show these in case you have a little girl who could use these kind of hair bows. If you want to see her uh, kind of demonstrate them, you can just uh, follow her on Instagram and you can learn more about it. But, um... I don't actually have a little girl. I got a little boy. And when he was a baby, he had enough hair that I could put plenty of this on. And if I just let him let his hair grow, same thing would happen. But uh, 
Uh, no, that's not. We cut the hair now. <laughs> but I have a couple of little girls in my life, and I want to give these to one of them. So I'm so excited that I, that I won these. But what I also thought was so cute was that Gabby herself, she's only, I don't even know how old she is, but she's a little girl. She's, she wrote a thank you note to me um, and for even listening to their Periscope and winning. And look, she put a little thank you card and she wrote it out. I just thought that was so sweet. So anyway, check them out. Um, Gabby Bose, if you could see that. And it's uh, www.gabbybows.com. G-A-B-B-Y-B-O-W-S.com. So I think, I mean, you won't lose them. So if you have a little girl and you're tired of replacing her barrettes, Gabby Bowes, ladies. So um, anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that this is uh, going to go well when I try to put in that other picture because I'm really proud of the thing that I made. But I appreciate you guys coming by. Um, hopefully, I'll be recording again next week. Uh, in the meantime, have a great day. Have a great evening. Have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy your Labor Day. I'm sure most of us are off. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, I appreciate all of you guys, and I'm going to try to link up a lot of the things that I talked about here today, and um, enjoy. Bye.